I, hey, yes. two yeah. photographers. I just wanted to say thank you for all your hard work in shifting this horrible last couple of years, doing your part in participating in democracy, um, because it doesn't work without active participation. Uh, you know, it challenges us and it empowers us, but at the end of the day, democracy really is us. So I came by today to say thank you so much. Woo! Can everyone vote? Does anyone need a ride to the polls? <laughs> give it up. We're gonna go. We're gonna go pick someone up right after this. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Right. The camera. Oh my God. <laughs> Our celebrities get involved? I don't know. I feel sometimes like I'm the, the, the lone wolf out there. Um, uh, I think anytime anyone gets involved, whether they be a celebrity or not, it doesn't matter if your platform is six around the dinner table or three million on Twitter, we all have to be a part of this process. So um, I've been uh, driving people to the polls all day. By the end of the day, I will be, uh, have been in six different districts driving people to the polls. And I've been doing it for 20 years, and it's something I really, really love to do. I don't know about my role in, the, in, in it, but I definitely think the Me Too movement has a lot to do with it. I think that we, you know, elected a self-professed pee grabber, and I think that women are uh, angry and upset, and now we're watching um, the Republican Party try to strip away our rights. There are three different states that have anti-abortion measures on the ballots this year. Um, which is kind of scary. So, uh, yeah, I think women are scared. I think we're scared that our rights are going to be taken away. Thank you. Oh, no, I've been doing this for 20 years, this exact same thing where I campaign for candidates and I drive people to the polls and, um, you know, it feels more intense now because there's a lot more at stake than there has been in the past. But, uh, you know, I, I definitely do not plan on stopping.